you guys welcome back to my youtube channel we are still under mecano techniques n6 we are still dealing with band bricks so i've given example for uh read this follow the winding turn or the winding drum of a crane has an effective diameter sorry about that notification there it has an effective diameter of zero zero uh of if you see that notification to step me okay so it has a diameter of 460 millimeter and carries a brick wheel uh, of 1.2 diameter the contact angle of the brick band is 270 degrees right and the coefficient of friction between the band and the drum is 0 0,3 right the maximum allowable tension in the band is this maximum this is t1 allowable tension uh, calculate the maximum load which can be applied on the winding drum the maximum 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 load that can be achieved on the that drum right off oh, it's fine it's fine we'll, we'll see how we do that Ooh, the maximum is supposed to find it on the torque remember the maximum torque is the one supposed to get okay it's fine we'll use we'll see this let us attack this question guys so for um you can calculate to here what's supposed to have t1 remember this is a pen dream we can find our ratio t1 over t2 equals to eu like that all right all right all right all right all right um isn't it all right then let's see what we have coefficient of friction the angle of this is 270 angle of the coefficient friction 0 0.3 Oh, remember this is 270 degrees must be in radians to divide this by 7.3 or oh, this will be e 0 comma 3 multiplied by 270 comma 57.3 270 all oh, right comma 57.3 this is t1 over t2 then we simply punch that we'll get this to be get that t1 to be uh, remember what you the value that you'll have here you'll multiply it by t2 you'll have 41.1 then multiply by t2 will be t2 then we have t1 we've given the allowable here is 15 kilo newtons then here we have 15 kilo newtons times 10 to the power of what three or you can write it or you can substitute the cities and have your answer in if you substitute remember this is in kilo newton but if you decide not to convert it to write it as so that means your t2 is supposed to be in kilo newton also right your t2 must be in kilonewton also you yeah, right you divide this by 4.11 therefore your t2 therefore your t2 must be in kilonewtons also three points <clears throat> three points six five kilo newtons also all right guys ah this is what we have they wanted us to find the maximum load all right all right remember the whole remember to find we've been calculating the maximum torque right remember guys we know how to calculate is take is taken on the torque the torque that will be on the dream if we can find the maximum remember to calculate our maximum torque is t1 minus t2 multiplied by r 
using this equation so we can find our torque so they say they want the talk the what what the the calculate the maximum load can be applied with the wind okay so track of the drum butter okay it's fine um all right This is equals to the torque is T1 minus T2 multiplied by the radius of multiplied by the radius. Remember the drum. Let's find the torque of the drum. Oh, no problem. What is the radius of the drum of the diameter? Yes, 160. You divide this by 2. This will be 0. Would be how much? 200 yes 230 millimeter then you divide this by thousand so that will be in what in meat left 230 then you divide that by thousand hopefully we are there to get this will be mm -mm. 160 guys 106 divide by two what will be 230 right uh, then divide this by thousand mm. Mm, yeah we'll have to take divide by thousand zero comma yeah T1, we've calculated it. Oh, we have given T1. Mm, T1 is it was 15 kilonewtons minus 3,65 T2 date. It's in kilonewton. The drum is 0, 0,2623. Yeah, it's 23, guys. So let, then let me put my the drum there, the radius. Mm. 15 minus 3.65 times 0 0.23. This will be two comma six one mm, one kilo newton meter. Remember, I use this in kilo newtons. I substituted that in kilo newton. Take note. This is what I have now. The torque. Then I can find the. This is our maximum torque. I can find the weight. Remember the torque again. Can be given by uh, this. Oh, this is not the main. Sorry, by the way, this is not the maximum talk. That is for remember, they wanted the maximum where we can have. Where can we have the, the maximum will be. Will be carried by a brick wheel of diameter we must use the diameter of the brick wheel guys not of the winding tram all sort guys that is effective is root 1.2 divided by 2 uh, sorry about that we'll be here we'll be using mm, sorry about this yeah this is the, the is right here must be p okay tram to show that tp We'll be using our thing there, 15 minus T2 T, T is 3.65 multiplied by, divide that 
1.2 by 2 will be 0 0.6 then our this will be our maxima 1 to 2 like that so that we'll find our torque there um, applying if you punch this um we'll have what will we have 15 hmm sort about this 15 minus 3.65 multiplied by 0 0.6 all right this will be 0 0.81 kilonewton meet uh, kilonewton meter guys because i've used this in kilonewtons all right then <laughs> to calculate sort about that calculate the maximum load will be the torque that we know multiply by the weight the radius the simple force one the weight then make the weight the subject then um, this will be of the of the total of the the one that the actual drum is the actual torque and then here we have this torque that we've calculated here on the top the maximum one 68.1 times 10 to the power of what of um three divided by radius which is 0 0.23 now that that is where we'll use 0 0.32 now then this weight will be what uh 29 comma uh I like this newton okay let me write it in kilonewton uh in kilonewton we'll have this that is our load the maximum that can be taken so by the way thank you for watching uh do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i post a new video thank you for watching